Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not afternoon anymore. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aurora Ashman, and today I'm here to tell you guys about why I picked St. Leo for my secondary education. So, let's talk. The first reason is academics, which is what it should be for most people. But if it's not, if financial, if financial aid is one of the first reasons for you, that's also a very reasonable thing because, of course, I mean, you can't attend college, you can't get your higher education at all if you can't pay for it, which is completely understandable and which is completely correct. But for me, it was always academics. And I think there's a balance that you can find between the two, financial aid and academics. But anyways, moving on. Academics, in terms of academics, St. Leo provided what I wanted best. I wanted to double major. My first major being in biomedical and health sciences, which is basically the pre-med program of St. Leo. Since pre-med itself is not a major in any universities, this is basically the track that you have to go down in order to basically take your MCAT at the end of your junior year or at the beginning of your junior year, or whatever time you want to take it. And then my second major I wanted to major in, I wanted to major in was mathematics. And why did I want to major in mathematics? Well, um, I just shared a very deep passion for mathematics. I just appreciated it a lot during high school. I had these amazing math teachers who were brothers and they they showed me something in math which I've never seen before and they they just lit a very very nice candle inside of my heart which I, I mean they they I appreciate math, I, and after after I met after I met them and had classes with them for after I met them and cl had classes with them for um, multiple years, I think three years we I had classes with them. I learned to appreciate math at a whole different level, and I I can, I could actually see exactly how math was involved everywhere and everything that we did which wasn't necessarily true for the rest of my life before that I was I would say I was very subpar when it came to mathematics but as a result I mean I did math team in high school and things of that nature and what ended up happening was that all my teachers all my math teachers suggested that I did major in math because it's not too many courses and um, moreover it's possible to do a double major easily so that is what I pursue. So first major being biomedical and health sciences, and the second major being mathematics. And St. Leo University provided both of those, had both of those programs, and I told them that I also wanted to graduate early, and they said that that was even possible. So three years, and if I stretch it out a little longer, maybe three years and one more semester, so three and a half years, it may take me to graduate from St. Leo, but it's still possible to do it in three years. So I thought that the benefit that I would be getting from this university is a lot. If I was to go to a bigger school, I'm sure that I would have I would have had to take many prerequisites before I actually got into my actual courses, even though I had some college credits while I came into St. Leo. Now, um, academics, there are more things to it than just the program that they have. And the one of the things is the small class sizes, which is something that really attracted me to St. Leo. St. Leo was actually originally supposed to be one of my safety schools because of their high acceptance rate. I thought that in case I don't get into any of the schools that I, any of the schools that I, any of the higher end schools that I apply to, I'll just go to St. Leo because they have all the programs that I intend to major in. But what ended up happening is that I ended up only applying to St. Leo and nowhere else. And this is why. I got some brochures from St. Leo and then I fact checked them. And what ended up happening was that, these are the statistics, 93% of St. Leo's faculty have the highest degrees in their fields. So if you have a chemistry professor, most likely they have the highest degree, the highest degree in their respective field in chemistry and things of that nature. And moreover, there are small class sizes as I've mentioned earlier. Very small class sizes. This is something that St. Leo pri takes pride in, and I think they should. They have every right to. Because there are only like a couple of classes where you have more than um, 30 students in one sitting. Because most of my classes, and I'm just a first year college freshman, and, well, and I'm, I still haven't finished my first semester yet, and I already have classes where there are only six other people in my class. 
I have one class where I only have five other people in my class. It's And if you take that course, if you want to take that course in the future, I don't know if it will be offered again, but if it is, the name of the course is Principles of Protein Structure. Don't miss out if you do come to St. Leo. Anyways, going back to academics, this is another thing that was very important to me because I thought that in big universities, you have many people in your class and therefore the attention is always divided. It's very hard to pull your professor's attention towards you if you're in a big setting like that when you have maybe like 50 or 60 students in one classroom especially if you're a college freshman or an incoming freshman most likely you're going to have to take a lot of prerequisites which will require you to take classes like that here at St. Leo even prerequisites most of the time have less than 20 people in a single class the student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1 which is very impressive and that is something that really attracted me towards it. And then I realized that St. Leo was only a couple of hours away from where I lived in Fort Myers. So I just decided to visit the campus once. And the second I got here, I just fell in love with how amazing the campus is. And I think that is what pushed me to actually not apply anywhere else, is the fact that there's just amazing facilities here. Our tour guide was great. I don't quite remember her name, but um, if you're watching this, you're awesome. Anyways, um, she was um, she showed us around everywhere, almost like everything that she knew about St. Leo, and I loved how she poured her heart out when she was actually representing her school, which I actually haven't seen when I went, when I was touring other schools. I went to USF, I went to um, Tampa University, I went to many other universities, but none of those none of the ambassadors looked like they were actually doing it from their heart. But again, that could be completely coincidental, and I'm pretty sure they're amazing schools too. But St. Leo it has a very small population, and now, therefore they have a very well-knit community. It's like when you go downstairs, if you go from one building to another, most likely you're going to see somebody that you know. And well, I mean, everybody will end up knowing you by the end of your four years, I'm pretty sure. And then, moreover, St. Leo, like, this happened after I got to St. Leo. This didn't happen before I got to St. Leo. But I didn't realize the amount of clubs and the, not, the amount of opportunities that are present at St. Leo for you to be doing different things. There are over 70 clubs on campus alone. But if you want to start a new campus, it's very easy to do that too. And St. Leo makes it easy. And moreover, if your club needs funding, all you need to do is do a, a presentation and start in front of the Student Government Union Senators. And if they think that this will benefit the community and benefit St. Lee as a whole, then they'll even organize funds for anything that you're trying to do. And I say this from a first-hand experience. And like I said, I didn't know that this was a thing until I actually came to St. Leo. But now that I'm here, this is something to help you guys if you're considering St. Leo or if you're considering coming to St. Leo to do your um, undergrads or masters and they have so many different pro like clubs and activities on campus and you can take care of um, and you can t be a part of so many different clubs at the same time and you can still make time to actually go back to your academics and focus on them because I can tell you that I myself am, am, am involved in five different clubs at the moment I'm in the debate club I'm in I'm a part of the student government union I was elected the senator this year actually oh yeah I was elected the senator this work this year guys yeah and then I'm also a part of the math club. I'm a part of Tri Beta, which is the biomedical honors club or the biology honors club here at St. Leo. And the fifth one is I'm part of the, what is the fifth one? Oh, and, uh, and the fifth one is the club that I'm actually trying to start myself. And it's going to be a research-based club, which I think St. Leo doesn't have at this moment. It's not that St. Leo doesn't have any clubs that do research. It's just that there are no clubs at St. Leo that primarily focus on research and renewable energy and things of that sort. And I think this is something that's essential to St. Leo in order to, in order for St. Leo to actually raise their ranks among the competitions that they have around here. And, well, um, hopefully it gets passed sometime soon. So these are all the things that I am involved in, and I'm pursuing a double major. And I think I have a pretty decent social life. So, you know, all of this is possible only because I came to this institution. But I'm, granted, I'm not saying that there are no other institutions that will provide the exact same benefits. I'm sure there are. But St. Leo, by far, according to what I have seen, would always be my first pick. I would have preferred, would always be my first pick. In the end, 
And then this is something that's just an accompanying fact, and it's that St. Leo serves amazing food. You guys will not believe how good their food is. It's, they have different stations, they have different kinds of foods, different from different ethnic background. Every week they have different products to um, get new types of food into St. Leo, get new types of dishes into St. Leo, because we have a lot of international students, a lot of international students. I'll even name off a, um, the, the number of international students that I know. I know. I know more than 10 people who came here from Jamaica. I know more than uh, five people who came here from England. I know one person who came from Denmark. And then I know s someone who came from Ireland and somebody who came from Sweden. And then, um, of course, and people from all across the state, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and things of that nature. And like, there are so many different lives. It's like so many different backgrounds. It's just eye-opening to actually be a part of this community because you, everyone comes from a certain background, everybody. Even if you believe that the United States does not have a culture, which is a topic for another time, even if you believe that, you still have a certain background, the way your parents raised you, the, the type of friends that you had around you, the type of high school that you went to maybe perhaps, or maybe the type of um, community that you were a part of. Once you come out of that, and this is basically a risk that you will be taking and regardless of what college you actually end up going to I think this will this will happen to you and this is and the fact is you're going to see all these different cultures and you're going to start appreciating where you where you actually come from instead of just looking at somebody else and say that hey you have the exact same background as I did and I think that's pretty amazing at St. Leo and here like everybody knows each other like I've said like the population is very small it's it's like just over a thousand students enrolled full-time on campus and um, there are more but they're online students but all these things added up to just me coming here and there are many more things that I could talk about St. Leo like the fact that they have different facilities but other universities may not have but I don't think those are just as important as the things that I've discussed right now and these are the main points as to why I chose St. Leo as my higher institution which many people were wondering from my high school and and that's it so and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this video was useful to you and if you are concern or if you are wondering about coming to St. Leo then just leave a comment below and if you're if you have any questions about it you can still leave a comment below and I'm going to try my best to explain that to you or like if you are wondering about something I can answer that anytime so just don't be afraid to do that if you do happen to have such queries so um this is it for today guys I'll see you next time